One of the most fascinating things about working with spiders is their sophisticated decision making. In my research, I'm asking, why is it that animals behave the way they do? Why do males try so hard to mate? And why do females typically act in such a choosy way when deciding who's going to be the father of their offspring? One of the things I find most fascinating about the work I've been doing with spiders is just how sophisticated their decision making is, even though they don't really have a brain. They just have a few neurons. A male spider will decide whether or not to avoid a competitor or actually follow a competitor to try to find a female, depending on whether he detects females in the environment. Next, he has to convince the female to mate with him. And for black widows, that involves anywhere from 20 minutes to eight hours of producing vibrations that essentially creates a song that convinces the female to mate. And after all that, she might just eat him. In the past 20 years, I've had a little over 200 undergraduates work in my lab. They join a team that includes first year students all the way up to students who are about to graduate. They join a cohort. And that cohort teaches them much more than just the specifics of Black Widow Spiders. It teaches them how to work together towards a common goal. It teaches them how to work in a professional environment. It teaches them the logic of research, which you can apply just about everywhere, by working in a lab that works on poisonous spiders. Thank <laughs> you.